It might be cold and dark outside, but your home can have color and bloom. Look what Kara Bachman Thule Yay. did to our kitchen over here. This looks outstanding. Yes. And your and your dress. Oh Come well, on. thank yes, you, thank perfect. you. I matched the the blooms this morning, and <laughs> what a perfect time to talk about bringing spring blooms into your rooms yeah. um, or yeah. office. And so we need it. We just took down all the holiday decorations. That's right. Other people did anyway. Yeah. So <laughs> it's great. We need the color. I love. I mean, this one is really cool because it's a little bit of everything. It is, and this is actually a Bachman's exclusive. This is called a Watch and Grow bulb garden, and we've been um, growing these since the 80s. And what you have is continuous colors through bulbs that grow over several weeks. So you have fragrant hyacinth, tulips, and daffodils, which are all kind of quintessential favorites sure. yeah. of springtime. And they pop at different times, right? So you get they to do. enjoy it over Yes, over, over that several weeks. Mm -hmm. So it's great for kids to watch or elderly, or you can ship it to someone that you love near or far. Great idea. So, yeah. We have some of the classics here, the daffodil, the tulip. Tulips and daffodils, yes, yep. and those come um, outside of the Watch and Grow, too. But if you're looking to try something new with blooming color, you can do um, a statement bloom. And these are intriguing blooms. This is an anthurium. Um, anthurium? Anthurium, yes. Mm -hmm. And this is a tropical plant. Um, and given a br enough bright, indirect sunlight, you can keep it blooming all year round. Oh, wow. Another favorite um, that's also kind of modern and contemporary in design is the bromelade. This is my favorite. Yes. My favorite flower. Yes, period. and it comes in stunning colors, reds, orange, yellow hues. Wow. And the way that you water it is actually right in the rosette on top. Oh, so it's it right behind it the purple, fun. actually. Maybe that's we can right. Take it out. Yes. There yeah. we go. Yeah, because it's very cool. It is, yeah. So this is a flower in the middle here? It is, yes. Wow. So that's the actual bloom. But you want to use very pure water. Distilled right? water. Mm -hmm. You could even use snow, um, snow melt. Oh, wow. Yes. Yeah, sure. Which is the diva plant. That's All right. right. <laughs> Go outside, get a scoop, and yeah. bring That's it in. No right. wonder you love this one, Jason. That's right. Very so particular. That's right. yes. And we have orchids, of course. That's long lasting beauty. Um, and they're fairly easy to care for. Um, they, too, actually um, like to have slight watering. So our recommendation is to use two or three ice cubes and just let oh, it, let it um, absorb in. But That's it's a um, blooming color for several, um, several weeks. And they like um, and light and humidity, right? That's so, like right. a bathroom. Is that's a right. Good place Perfect. For yeah, they do like it humid, mm -hmm. so that's exactly right. And then, of course, another great sign of spring is cyclamen, mm -hmm. and they're butterfly-type flowers that seem to just hover. Um, Man, those can last a long time too. They can't can, they? yes. Yeah. And this is a Bachman's grown crop, and they come in bright colors, ready for spring or winter. Yeah, I love that. It, it feels, feels like good. Spring is coming. It? That's go. right. Karen, thank you.